Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Kathy, and today I'm gonna to do a haul video. This is a real short, quick one. Um, it was just, Saturday didn't have very many yard sales. It was really slim pickings. So uh, this is just from what I got on Saturday. Um, like I said, there was not much. I did get some good stuff. So let me show you what I got. Um, one of the yard sales I went to, I got these little ornaments. Now these are not old. They're not vintage, they're not old. They look old. They're made to look like those old German uh, mercury, I think mercury ornaments. Um, so let me see what this says. These are actually made in India. <coughs> of course I start coughing as soon as I do the video. And did I bring water? No. I might have to go get some water. But anyways, these were made in India. The original price was uh, $12.99. Now she was asking $3 a box, um, but I did get two boxes for $4. So I got a good deal. These are for me. <laughs> I love these. Um, I actually saw at an antique mall last, last uh, winter, somebody had some of these and they had them all in a bowl. And I think they were selling them as vintage. I'm not really sure. Um, I bought one and I paid, I paid quite a bit for the one. Um, then I found out that they're not really, really that old. They're made to look like old, they're so pretty. And these are really nice. I'm only gonna show you a few of these, but they look really pretty in a, in a bowl. Um, they're a little bit heavy, not super heavy, but they're so pretty. This one has like a little crackly finish but they definitely made them to look old. Um, here's another one. Oh, I still love them. I just love these. They're so pretty. But this one, and they're even kind of rusty, crusty, the, the, the top of it. I like that, I like that look. Um, so that's the first box. I don't know, the second box might be a little bit different. Um, let's see. I didn't open these up. I just thought, oh, it's a good price. Even though they're modern, or more modern, I should say, uh, they're still cool. And I love the little ribbon on there. So pretty. So these are similar. I think she said, she says, oh, they have this, some have like a, a very a subtle gold tint to them, like this one. This really subtle. Um, and these are silver. They kind of mixed them up, I think, in the box. But I love them. I think they're really pretty. And like I said, they look really nice all together in a box. Or in a, like in a big bowl, a big silver bowl or a white bowl. So that was the first thing I got. This lady, oh no, never mind. I was going to say this lady has sales all the time. But no, this was, we thought it was um, this one lady, but it ended up being somebody different. Okay, so I got that. And then um, another yard sale I went to. I think this was the only thing I bought there. And it's a cobalt bottle and it's a moon. So she had a big collection of um, moon and star items because that's what she was collecting at one time. But I love this little guy. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell them. And it, there is a sticker. It's new. It's not, I don't think it's vintage, but it was made in Spain. So it came from Spain. And I just love cobalt blue. It's really nice in the window with the sun shining through. And then um, I bought these. Oh, that was a community yard sale. It was like a 55 and over um, area. My husband didn't want to go there, but we did end up going. And I picked up these little salt and pepper shakers. I don't know, I think they might be um, silver plated, um, but I can't really read the symbol on the bottom. Uh, the lady said that they polished them up just before the sale. This one has like a gold tinge to it. So I don't know if it's really, it could be silver plated, I guess. I can't get the top off on one of these, must be this one. They are, they do have salt and pepper in them. This one I can't get the top off. So I might have to have my husband do that because it's, it, it feels like it has salt in it, but it's like all clumpy in there. 
but I just thought they were pretty, so I got those. And it was really good price. Um, I got these. These were just out of a free box. It's just little rings. It says uh, book rings. I can do some kind of crafting with those. And then also picked up these, which I like these. Um, they're shower hooks, shower curtain hooks. Um, there was quite a few of them. I'm already using some of them, but I love these for, I have one outside that I'm hanging my um, wind chimes on, but they're just very useful for just different things. So little S hooks and they're copper colored. They're just, they're just metal. They're not actual copper, but they're co copper colored. So I did get a bunch of those. I think there was uh, maybe 10 or 12 of those. And then, um, this man, uh, he often has sales and I usually always pick up something. We hadn't been there for gosh, probably a year now, but, um, he has some items and these are some nice skewers, you know, like if you want to do shish kebabs, they're perfect for the summer and they are brass on top and they each, they have a different animal. There's a little duck. You can even just use these for decor. If you have a big, long, tall jar or like a crock or, or a bottle, you could stick these in there. They'd be really cute. Uh, there's a fish. And the critters are all brass. This is an L, oh no, oh, oh my gosh, my eyes are seeing things. This is a sheep. <laughs> I was gonna say it's an elephant. Don't ask me where I got elephant, but it's a sheep, uh, a pig. These are all farm animals, a little pig. Um, a cow, moo, and a little rooster. That's cute. So I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these individually or just as a set. So there's one, two, three, four, there's six, a set of six. This, you know, if you're going to use these for barbecuing or for shish kebabs or whatever, um, I guess it, it's good to have a whole set of those. Really cool. It's gonna have to come with, I'm gonna have to ship it in a long box, that's the only thing. But they're pretty neat. And then I just bought this um, box of photo paper, it was just a dollar, and it's glossy photo paper. And this is nice when I do my uh, junk journaling, because a lot of times I will print out old photos. And sometimes it's nice to do it on glossy paper, because then it looks like original photos when you do that. So that was fun to get. Um, oh, and also from him, where I got the skewers, I got this little, and this is for my own collection. My own collection? It's a little toothpick holder. It is black uh, milk glass. I don't know who makes it. It kind of reminds me of Ellie Smith. Um, I'm trying to see what the, there's no marking on it. And it is black. It's not uh, amethyst. It's black, black. I don't see any, any purple through it. Um, let me see what kind of little figures are on here. Um, it's just some plants, but it's really cute. I really like it. So I love these little toothpick holders. I like to, I put like a little frozen Charlotte in there or something. I like to decorate with those. So I got that. And then I went back to the Etsy, Etsy lady. I can call her the Etsy lady. Uh, she had a yard sale again, and again, we almost passed her by because you can hardly see her yard sale until you're oh, just past it, and then you go, oh, you have to back up and go to it. But uh, this time, she let me go inside her, her little Etsy room. It was so well organized, and it was really, it was really good. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so she let me pick out some things out of there. Um, the only thing I got was this uh, Talavera little bulldog. I don't know if he's a pug or I think he's a bulldog, but it is Talavera and you can feel the texture on it. It's very well painted. Now it's not marked. I don't see any marking on it, but I'm pretty sure it is Talavera. It's a nice one. Very nicely done. So I know there's a lot of imitation out there, <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> this one feels like the real thing. It's hard to know. It's not marked, and that's the thing, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Really, really nice. <laughs> so I got that's the only thing I got out of her room, and then out on the table. She had this last week, and um, 
I decided to go ahead and get it. Now, I wasn't sure of the material of this horse, but I'm pretty sure it is wood. Um, the more I look at it um, and feel it, it is carved wood and it's really nicely done. Look at that. Very delicate, very intricate carving on it. So and I got it for really a smoking deal. I put some of that tape on it, but look at that. Yeah, that was that was nice. That's a nice nice horse. And um, oh, and then also at that little community yard sale, my husband didn't want to go there. I'm glad we did. Um, from the lady that I got those salt and pepper shakers from. And you probably saw, if you saw my short video, I got this whole thing for $4. $4. This was a steal. Um, there's some really nice lace in here. Um, look at this. This is a big, big piece of uh, lace fabric. This looks like it might have been... Oh, no. I thought it was part of a, a dress or something, but they just used some of it. But really nice, nice lace. And this is for my own personal use. I mean, I'm going to use this when I do my junk journaling and my crafts. I love lace. Oh, look at this. This piece is just stunning. Just absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love lace. Look at that. I think that was a piece off of that one. Um, it's another one. That might be, I don't know if that's, that, that's the same one. A lot of this one. Um, another one. Look at this. This one's just gorgeous. Very delicate. Just beautiful. So pretty. This one is still in its little plastic. This is kind of like, um, almost like eyelet lace, but really pretty. Quite a bit of it too. I mean, there's a lot there. You know, it's more than a yard. That's for sure, but really, I mean, that's, can't beat that price. Um, I usually pay a lot more for lace, and this is just really a nice, nice selection. Um, look at this, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Just beautiful. Oh, something about lace, I don't know. I just love it, love it, love it. Some black lace trim. Really nice. I have to get this all kind of organized anyways. Look at that. Some more of that eyelet lace. I don't know if it's called eyelet lace, but it's cotton, <laughs> cotton lace. Um, and there's little pieces like this, which is just perfect to embellish a junk journal cover. Oh, and this one. I love, love, love this one. This one is on a piece of uh, ribbon. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Little bits and pieces of trim. And I can use every bit of this. Every bit. This is just some satin ribbon. Black satin. Wow, this one's gorgeous. Look at that. That looks like it came off of um, a garment. Oh, that's so pretty. Like off of a collar or something. Um, look at that. Look at that, look at that. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Some more um, silky ribbon. Um, another little piece of that collar. It must have been a collar, I guess. I mean, there's just so much. Oh, look at this, I didn't notice this. This is, um, oh, that is so cool. It has like little cherubs on it. And it has a little sparkle on it. It's like, um, Oh, what do you call this? Oh my God, I can't even think. So it looks like on the back. Like woven, um, just nice, just really nice. A little, a little uh, tiny doily. Yeah, so there's so much, I don't wanna go over everything, but um, some little sunflower ribbon. I didn't, this, this is the first time I've really gone through this. I I just kind of quickly went through it. I knew I was gonna love it. And oh my gosh, the price, like I said, you cannot beat that price. 
excellent, excellent price. And there's a lot of little bits on the bottom. Look at that. Oh, more of that. Oh, I love this so much. So pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna have to um, organize it. Look at this, they kind of made a little, little thingy with it. So yeah. Oh, here's some that has like a little blue tinge to it, it's a little blue. But yeah, a lot of red, and there's just, look, that's how much more is in there that I didn't show you. So yeah, I'm gonna put this all back in here. It is so cool. This makes me happy. <laughs> this gives me joy. Um, it really does. Last night I had bought some lace from another lady at the Mall of Peddlers. And um, last night I had to go through, I mean, something, something about it just, I don't know. It's just, like I said, it sparks joy in me. So I had to go through that ribbon. I mean, those uh, laces, a little bag of lace. That was fun. So anyways, today is Wednesday, uh, May the, what is today? May the 8th, I believe. Um, tomorrow on Thursday, is no, no, today's only, wait a minute, it's only Tuesday today. T Tuesday the 7th, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so I don't have a sale tomorrow, I have a sale Thursday on May 9th at three o'clock Eastern. It's gonna be with Becky from Becky's Vintage and More. That'll be a lot of fun. I haven't done a Thursday sale in a couple weeks, so I'm trying to get back to it. Now, I, I'm still taking Sunday off. I'm gonna take this Sunday off. Um, Sunday sales, because I have to start an hour earlier now, it's a little bit hard for me. You know, it's easier in the winter time when I start at seven, but when I, when I have to start at six, the sale is at nine o'clock Eastern. It just, I don't know. It just makes it hard for me. So I just decided to take some Sundays off. And I may only do two Sundays um, a week or even one Sunday a week. I don't know, I have to talk to my girls and decide. But it is gonna be on uh, Leanne's channel this Sunday at nine o'clock Eastern. So go check them out, Sabrina and Leanne. Uh, Simon says, let's make a deal. And Leanne is Crafty Kitty Vintage. Uh, and I'm gonna put the links down in the description so you can go and follow them. And then I'll also put my crafting channel link down below. Because after I'm done with this, I'm gonna do a crafting video. And I think I'm gonna show you how I make uh, little rosettes for these little cards that I do. So, oh, but I'm gonna have some of these for sale on my Thursday sale. So if you're interested, um, I did make some little, these are memorial ones. This is 4th of July. So I'm gonna have some of those available on Thursday. And then I still have my giveaway going. Uh, that's going until the 16th, Thursday the 16th. So if you have not entered, I'm giving away a beautiful Fenton basket, it's gorgeous. It, if you like purple and pink, um, you will love that basket. It has a little iridescence to it, but go check it out. Uh, subscribe to my channel, um, comment, and uh, hit the like button on that video. You could also do that in this video because it helps me. It really helps my channel. So anyways, that is all for now. Uh, so have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video.